Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Ray, and today I'm coming on to do a quick wash and go. Um, I've already washed and uh, conditioned my hair, and I've already applied my leave-in, and the leave-in of choice today is the Intense Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner by Texture ID. It does come with the spray, but I put a pump on it just to make it easier to apply in the shower. And the reason I'm using this leave-in is because it is a liquid leave-in that's very light, and I am pairing it with the Eco Style Olive Oil and Shea Butter Black Castor Oil and Flaxseed Gel. This is the gold gel that I used to really love and I quit using it for some reason and I'm not sure um, why. I can't remember if it just quit working for me or what, but I know that it has a lot of oils in it so I didn't wanna leave, use a really thick leave-in and um, cause it to sit on top of my hair. So I only have a little bit in this one and a little bit in this one, and I'm trying to get rid of my products. So um, that's another reason why I'm revisiting this. I wanna see how it works, if I still like it, and also wanna just use it up. So I came on today with my hair already uh, washed and conditioned, and um, I normally have it in a plastic bag, but I am out of plastic bags. So we are going to try to um, do this wash and go really quick before my hair dries out. And a lot of you wanted to see what my hair looked like um, fresh out of the shower with basically no product but a light leave-in on it. And so this is it. This is what it looks like. So it does have some curl definition, but it also has a lot of frizz. Um, and that that also depends on what I wash and condition with. Sometimes my hair will be a little bit more coily um, if I use something a lot more moisturizing to wash and condition with. So today I actually co-washed with um, the As I Am Jamaican, black castor oil co-wash it's in the red and gold um label and to be honest i really don't care for it it did feel, i felt like it didn't moisturize very well and i think that contributes to a little bit of the frizz that you see once i deep conditioned with my um what did i deep condition with the oh obia naturals hair therapy my hair felt a lot better and um some moisture it felt like it brought the moisture back and the softness back right now i am just applying the gel because i've already put my leave-in in so i'm just going to apply this gel and see what happens so but if I remember correctly, I always used either a light leave-in with this or no leave-in at all because of all the oils that was in it. And I just didn't want to do no leave-in at all because I need some moisture in my hair because my hair is already prone to dryness. Um, if you use this gel and you find that it is not pairing well with a lot of leave-ins, thicker leave-ins, you may just want to put an oil on first. Um, just, you know, wash your hair and then put an oil on your hair and then apply the gel. Or you may want to try a really light spray leave-in like I'm doing here. So, and see if that helps at all. So right now I'm not getting any, um white residue or white cast so that's good and if I remember correctly I used to get kind of a fluffy wash and go with this gel I'm not sure why I quit using it so we're gonna see maybe it was just the change in the weather is why I put it up I don't know but we will see so I'm gonna just do this back section and then I'll move around to the other sections and when I do that I'll speed it up and you guys can just watch because it's just the same routine over and over so and I'm trying to do it quickly like I said before my hair completely dries out I need to get to 
Sally's or somewhere and get me some more plastic bags. I did deep condition using a Walmart or a Target bag or something, which you guys love it. Some of you guys love it. I don't necessarily like it, but I did do that, but I didn't want to come out here with one of those bags on my head. So I'm just doing this. Okay. So right now, this is what that section is looking like. Not too shabby, not too bad. So I'm just gonna finish the rest of my hair and you guys can continue watching. Here is the finished product. I didn't even coil my hair. And you see these coils starting right here. My hair has been doing that lately in the front. And I'm not really sure why, because I didn't coil it. All I did was raked. You saw what I did. I just raked and let it go. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Try to get that part out in the back. what it looks like in the back and on the sides so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sit under my hooded dryer as always and I will come back and let you see the results okay hi guys I'm back from under the dryer and this is what my hair is looking like so as you can see it's still pretty defined it is a soft hold so that is something I remember about um, the gel and it has pretty good shine to it. So 
this is it i am happy with it so i'm not sure why i quit using it i'm thinking that it probably had to do with um the time of year it was and maybe it wasn't working as well um in the winter i'm not sure but anyway i am pretty much out of both of these so I probably will buy it again, but however, I'm gonna try to use up the other gels I have in my stash first. I still have very um, little bit of the flaxseed um, oil gel. I still have some of the black eco gel. It's the protein one that I don't use very often. And I think I bought that for a wash and go combo. I don't use that very often, but I still have that and I still have a little bit of the green left and I still have, of course, my pink eco left. So I wanna use up, and I do have some labella curls left as well. So I do have pretty much um, enough gels that I don't need to go out and buy any right now. So I don't think that I will. I think I'm just going to try to use up what I have before I purchase more. So, but I did wanna come back and show you my hair and, um, Tell me what you think. Do you think this is a pretty good wash and go? Do you use this eco? Do you like it? Let me know in the comment section below how you feel about this gel and if you'll give it a try after seeing this wash and go. Again, I um, paired it with the Texture ID leave-in conditioner and I do have a soft hold and we'll see how long the moisture lasts on that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you like my video and you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well to make sure you'll be notified of my next upload. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. And until next time, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.